in this video we are going to see how to attach a virtual block to the virtual machine okay for that uh, you have to log into your aws console and here what i am going to do i am going to download the um, existing key so i am not going to use any uh, no new key so instead of creating putty gen or putty uh, software to generate the P ppk file i am directly i am going to download the ppk file okay so you you know i have downloaded it and i have already logging to my uh, no console just go to your ec2 instance so here you can see the instances so whatever i have got here is the uh, uh, the default instance so what i am going to do i am going to create a windows instance for that i have to click launch instance it will take me through the wizard so just to find out the windows uh, operating system so here i can see the free tire uh, thing microsoft uh, windows server 2019 base so select that and i'm going to use the default configurations uh, so add storage you can see here the size of your instance the storage size is 30 gb so our intention is to attach a uh, no extra uh, virtual block to the existing storage so with this 30 gb we are going to add the storage space so next and create security group so security group if you see if it is a windows operating system the default type is rdp okay so we are not going to change that so review and launch so i have reviewed it just launch and here you can now i have already downloaded the key pair so i i have to choose choose an existing key pair so that key pair name is okay and i will acknowledge that i have already downloaded it okay so launch instances so now it will be launched okay so uh, no let it get launched no after that what we have to do you have to just go to the uh, left set panel there you have something called as elastic block store in that you will have an option called volume okay just click that okay so now you can see this is the de you know a default thing that is created uh, uh, no uh, for that particular instance okay so here only we are going to attach a particular volume before that we need to check which region or uh, no instance belong to okay for that for identification i will use vm block demo okay so i am renaming it and uh, you should be very clear from which region your instance is created okay so us west 2b is my region you can see here okay this is my region so i have to create a volume which belongs to that particular availability zone okay so go to volume and there you just create volume here it you, know, you have to specify the size i will create only 2 gb and uh, this is what i told you so us west 2b that is our availability zone okay rest of the things let it be the default one here click create volume and now you can see it is created and this is what we have created okay so vm block volume okay so for, for identification i have created it okay now if you see the state it is available it is not used so we have to make it in use so what we have to do just right click it and attach volume okay 
and it will ask us the instance ID. If you tap it, automatically it will show our instance name which belong to that particular availability zone. So in this availability zone, we have created only one instance. Okay, click this and automatically it will take S X V D F. Okay, so that is the Windows uh, thing. Click attach. And once if it is done, you can see here the status change to in use. Okay, so so now whatever we uh, we have to do that is done now from this side. So again, go back to your instances. Okay, go back to your instance. This one. Okay, so there what we have to do we have to connect to the instance. So click connect. And if you click connect, automatically it will take you to the uh, connect to an instance page. There you will have session manager and RDP client. So we have to go to RDP client. Okay. For RDP client, you can see there is an option for remote desktop file. So you have to download that. That is a small uh, no, uh, gateway uh, software which is used to log in to your instance, Windows instance. So now this is done. Okay. Uh, so after downloading, okay, it will take some couple of minutes to get your password. Okay. Even even if you click now, okay. Uh, yeah, we are now getting it. Okay. Just click browse. Okay. And we have already downloaded our key pair. Okay. So you can see here, I have loaded the PPK file. Okay. And okay, so the key is pasted here. I can just click decrypt password. And okay, I'm sorry, I have downloaded. Uh, Okay, for Windows operating system and in Windows instance, you have to download the PEM file, PEM file. Okay, so I have downloaded the PPK file. So I'll download the PEM file. Okay, I have downloaded it from my sandbox. Okay, I'll just go go back to the uh, no uh, password generation. So click browse. I will locate my PEM file. This is the lab user PEM file. Okay, click open. Okay, now you can see this is our key. Okay, we have to decrypt this particular key to get our password. Okay, when you give the decrypt key, you can see the password is generated here. Okay, so just copy this password. Now password is copied. Okay, now open this particular file which is downloaded. That is our remote desktop file. Okay, click connect. And instantly it will ask us the password. Okay, just paste it. Okay, when you paste it, Automatically, first it will show you a small warning message since it is an uh, not trusted certificate and something like that. So what you have to do, just ignore it and click yes. So what it will do, it will log into your Windows operating system if your password is correct. Yes. So this is what now you can see. Okay. So we have login to you to our Windows operating system. May take some time. Yes. Okay. So now our uh, Windows instance is created. Okay. Okay. So I'll click. Um, So here you will get all the information about your instance. Okay. So it may take some time to load. So what is the next step? We now we have already attached and virtual block. Okay. To our instance. So now what we have to do? We have to uh, no. Um, at, uh, no. We have to add that particular storage to make it active. 
okay so before that you can see here the host name instance id public ip address everything it will be displayed on the desktop screen okay so go to your start menu of your instance not your system it's an instance okay so there you have to go to computer management yes computer management and go to disk management okay here you can see this is the 30 gb which we have used which we have created for our operating system windows operating system that is our windows windows virtual machine and here you can see the 2 gb which we have attached and now you can see it is unallocated okay and here you can see the status offline so what we have to do we have to make it online and then we have to allocate it so for that you just right click it and click online okay and when you try to create it online first it will tell you not initialized okay so again right click it you will get the option initialize disk okay click that and it will ask you the disk name you can see the disk name disk one disk one is the name okay you can click ok now you can say now now you can see that it is online okay the status is complete now what we have to do we have to allocate this particular uh, disk space so directly go to your new simple volume okay there next and uh, all to uh, gb has to be allocated in that particular drive okay and you can assign any uh, letters for that okay click next and let it be in ntfs okay and click finish now can you see this one okay initially only c drive was available and now d drive is created okay if you want to check it you just open the my computer of this particular instance you can see two drives okay this you can see 2 gb is created here okay and 30 gb is for your operating system okay so this is what and here what is our next motto is we have to check okay uh, whether the data is residing in this drive even after the release of that particular drive so what we have to do what i will do i'll just create a file go to new create some text file okay sample.txt so this is my file okay i'll just open it and i will say hi okay and save it okay i have a file i have a text file i have created created it and i have typed some content called hi okay i am closing it now i am closing it okay so what i am going to do i'll just minimize this particular uh, operating system now it is minimized here you can see okay i'll go back to my instance and uh, go back to my volume go back to my volume okay select it and this is what we have attached okay it is in use okay so what i am going to do i'll just give detach volume okay so this will allow me to remove that particular volume from the instance okay click detach volume and click yes detach okay so now after some time if you see the state will be changed okay from in use to some other state okay like available the state is now available you can see here okay it is available so i am going back to my remote server and now can you see this one okay only c drive huh? and now go back to your drive okay this is the reason file now open it it will tell you the system cannot find the path specified because our drive is detached now okay the data is safe in that particular drive but it cannot be used or it cannot be opened if it is detached from the virtual machine okay so this is how uh, we will uh, know uh, attach a virtual volume and we, we will check whether the data is residing in the uh, volume even after the release of that particular virtual block.
so now i hope uh, this is very clear okay how to do that okay so thank you